Good morning, y'all. Oh, okay, it's recording. I'm like, what's wrong, baby? <laughs> oh my gosh, this camera's getting every flaw and everything. Dang, it's kind of hard to hide, huh? I'm doing my best to take care of my skin, guys. <laughs> Any advice? I switched to organic, strictly organic now, and I don't know what to do. I still have acne scarred skin, oily skin. Um, yeah, whatever. This is me. Guess I just gotta deal with it, but I'm trying to maintain it as much as possible. But anyway, I am here with my baby. My Aviana, my Aviana, my Aviana, Aviana, Aviana. Hey, baby. Ooh. Do you got a booger coming out of here now? Where's that signal? That I didn't wipe up like I thought I did. Let's wipe it. Woo! This is my baby, Aviana. And I just had her on December 23rd. Oh, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> She's got the hiccup. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you going to talk to them too? Tell them. Tell them a little bit about yourself. <laughs> it's like, first off, Mommy, I don't want to be in this thing. Oh, really? Oh, well, she's trying to talk, but she's a little drunk, guys. Just bear with us here. <laughs> she's actually starting to get more patient with being in this um, seat thing. And she's gained a lot more strength as well. Um, yeah. But I had her December 23rd, and it was, you know, very nerve-wracking. And I was supposed to post a video prior to this. I guess I didn't. So I'm going to have to post it after this. And um, it was just basically my journey of a little bit when I was pregnant. And then up to the day that I actually ended up having her. And she was in that video as well. Oh, are you okay, Mama? Um, but yeah, I mean, she's the best blessing I've ever had in my whole life. Like, I'm so thankful. My life has changed so much, but it's changed for the better, and I couldn't be happier, so I wouldn't change anything for the world. She is my world, she is my everything, and I am beyond thankful. I am beyond thankful for my little baby right here. My little baby. My little baby. <laughs> <laughs> Play with your toys. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get her coffee. So I was really eating my coffee because um, when I made it, I ended up. Uh, oh shoot. When I made it, um, she ended up waking up again to drink her bottle. So I just, oh my gosh, you're getting my double chin and everything. <laughs> um, she had woken up to eat her bottle. So I just was like, going to feed her, you know? Ooh. I almost like sipped that really quickly. She probably let it cool down a little bit first. But, um, yeah. I was making my coffee. Sometimes you gotta reheat it because, you know, when your baby calls for you, you gotta take care of your baby first. And you can drink your coffee whenever you get around to it. Even if you never get around to it. Uh-oh, mama. What's wrong? Oh, my glasses are down there. I forgot to set them Oh, no. She's already getting annoyed. Like my glasses, guys. Baby. Hold on, let me move her out of this. You don't want to be in there? <laughs> You're not going to let mommy drink your coffee, are you? You 
to go on your play mat. Do you want to do that next? Ooh. So she doesn't want to be in her seat. She gets kind of bored of it quickly. Don't you little girl. Don't you get bored of it. And sometimes I just let her stay in it anyway because I mean that's how I got her to be a little bit more patient with it because at the beginning she would cry right away and she would scream until I took her out of it. So um, yeah, sometimes I just let her chill in there, but um, I guess I'll just take her out right now. Woo! <laughs> So I just got a haircut guys and it's normally long but if you've seen me in my other videos I had dyed it blue at one point so in order to do that I had to bleach it and I can say that the bleach had totally destroyed my hair so I had to start all the way over at one point I ended up chopping my hair off and that was kind of a complete mistake it was a free haircut you know you get what you pay for and I feel like everybody at the event, it was like a free haircut thing that One Wood Models was hosting. And I felt like everybody had an amazing haircut, but the guy who did my hair, I don't know why. I felt like I was the only one who had destroyed hair. And I also felt like I was the only one that had the most beautiful hair. And I'm not even being, um, I'm not even being conceited because I was the only one that had the longest, the thickest hair, like everything compared to everybody else. Everybody else kind of had short hair already. And I had never, I mean, I had short hair when I was younger, but you know, I haven't done it in a very long time. And I was just like, you know, why don't I try something new? Why don't I, you know, chop some of my hair off? I mean, it's dying in a way because I dyed it blue. And the guy just like, didn't know what he was doing, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, that took forever for it to grow even and it took forever for the bleached ends to kind of grow out. Grow out. And so once it grew out some more, I just decided that I would just chop the rest of it off. And some of it is still left, but it's okay. Um, my hair is going to grow back healthier, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm never dyeing my hair again. Never dyeing my hair. Look at my baby. Aviana. <laughs> I don't know what show this is. Honestly, I just chose anything. I just chose anything, baby. <laughs> She's talking. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Tell me everything. Oh. Are you serious? No way. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe that happened. And don't do what I did, guys. I, okay, I wanted to wash this thing and I ended up putting it in the dryer. And that was the worst mistake you could ever do. Because this thing used to be way bigger and then it shriveled up and melted. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Always follow your conscience. I kind of had this feeling inside. I'm like, I probably shouldn't have put this in the drawer, but I still did it. I don't know why. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, not doing much today, honestly. Just taking care of my baby. And then I'm also studying for my driver's license test that I should be taking very soon. And also I am still completing my real estate schooling. And I should be done with that very soon as well. Um, team no sleep because I gotta get stuff done. <laughs> and um, yeah, just spending time with my love. 
<laughs> yeah. Can you say elephant? Like the biggest word ever. Bear. No, that's a cow actually. This is a bear. And then bird. So really, I don't do much where I'm living at now. It's like kind of kind of a small town, not much going on out here. The hurricane that recently just passed, um, I don't remember the name of the hurricane, but it totally destroyed a lot of houses and stuff out here. My parents' house was destroyed, so they had to start over and building that. A lot of places were just completely destroyed, churches, businesses. Um, it was just really drastic. A lot of people had to go homeless or start all the way over, and it was just, it's just a really sad thing to see. And um, I've been coming out here since I was a little girl, and when I finally came out here with my baby and I seen how everything was, I was just like, I cannot, I don't know. I mean, when I heard that the hurricane had kind of came through, I was like, oh, it's probably not that bad. But it was a serious thing, and literally, trees were everywhere there was trash everywhere like all over the cities panama city and the city that i'm in and um all this uh, a few cities around there and it was just like crazy and then there's also mexico beach which is nearby most of the houses there were destroyed as well and it was just a crazy sight to see and the thing out here is like the trees are part of the beauty here. Like the trees are so big and beautiful and you know, that's people's land. Like that's their land, that's their money and it's totally wiped out. When you see humongous 